Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? I hope you're well. So, if you've been following me on Twitter and Instagram, you already know that this is not the video that was supposed to come out this week. Again, I had to scrap the video I've been working on. But lucky for me, my mom is here with me today, so I asked her to join me in a Q&A session about Japan. So, you already know what my trip is going to be like, you know more of the details than anyone else does. Are you excited for me? Scared for me? How? What are your feelings towards this I'm, mystery trip? I'm Just very to... proud yes. and excited. I'm um, looking forward <laughs> to all the, the stories and the vlog. And yes, as a mom, I'm not really scared because I, I trust you for, for having prepared everything perfectly. Um, but as a mom, yes, of course, I'm wondering, ooh, will everything mm -hmm. be okay? That was actually one of the questions I wrote down. What do you think of me traveling solo, all by myself, halfway across the world? Since it's not something I've really done before except for Japan. Yes, I remember being scared the first time you went mm -hmm. to Japan and then I saw how well you prepared the whole thing and the second time I was confident that it was going to be okay mm -hmm. and this time yes. big one. <laughs> <laughs> yes what was your question again? How do <laughs> Not you sure feel of me this. going maybe as a girl alone oh. When I'm, it's not something I've done a lot, it's not something I've done when I was a teenager, not even as a young adult. I've only done it the two times before when I went to Japan, I've never traveled anywhere else and all of a sudden I'm traveling solo to Japan, all by myself. I, did, I remember I did some research the first time and, and read and, and heard that Japan was really mm -hmm. safe, yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, for if you're traveling solo for the first time, Japan is probably a good beginner country. I know it's very far away and everything is a bit of culture shock, but safety-wise, I think it's a good place to start, for sure. Anyway, I wrote down some little questions about Japan. Test, maybe test your knowledge a little bit Ooh. or find out what you know generally about Japan. And the first one, I started out really easy. Do you know what the capital of Japan is? <laughs> I think I know <laughs> Tokyo. Yes. And do you know what was the capital of Japan before Tokyo? No idea. It was Kyoto. Mm. Yes, I've heard something about that. Maybe you mentioned it in one of the Maybe I did mention it. Of course, well, I say, I'm saying of course, but I think you've seen most of my videos about Japan and my travel vlogs. So more than once. More than once. So maybe you're more knowledgeable about Japan. Oh my god, the sirens of Brussels. Let's just wait. Maybe you're more knowledgeable than I think, and I'd be I'd be surprised. What first comes to mind when I say Japan to you? What do you think about food? About temples? Temples. Temples. More um, traditional Japan then. Temples and, and gardens. Thanks to your vlogs. Okay. And uh, if you were to go to Japan, you'd be more interested in that aspect in visiting temples. Which what would um, what would be the first things you would want to see if you were to come to Japan? Yes, probably the gardens mm -hmm. and yes, the temples. Yeah. <laughs> Although the gardens feel um, calmer than the temples. I, I remember seeing a lot of people and the garden, the garden brought peace and quiet, so maybe first garden. Yeah, I think it depends on the place, but yeah. Um, would you want to try any kind of food in particular? I, f I feel that, that the, the food is is a lot of fish and meat, so I don't yeah. know what I would try as a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would be very wary of yeah. <laughs> not understanding the label. Is there oh, meat? Oh, okay, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So, uh, food is not maybe in your top things that you would want to try no. in Japan. It's more visiting, more visits, more. 
Yes, and what you did activity like the painting that's that oh, was yeah. really painting, maybe uh would you be into writing. some yeah the the calligraphy I think it was. That was a long time ago. Uh, would you be interested in maybe like tea ceremonies? Oh yes. Yeah? Yes. Oh okay. It's interesting. So Japan is my number one destination. I'm if I'm thinking of traveling the world it's always new places in Japan first. But what is your number one destination, you would say? Mm. You could go anywhere in the world. Ooh. Or a continent, maybe you're more attracted to? Well, I would love to travel to Australia. Because mm -hmm. it's a long journey. <laughs> You mean as well? It's 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 really far away, yeah. um, and that's again. It's because of the the scenery and and the different aspects of the countryside, or mm -hmm. so it's not so much the town. It's more the the landscape and the gardens and oh, the nature. Yeah, yeah, nature. I see. Okay. Um, India, but. I don't quite like too many people, so yeah. I'm not sure that would be a good place. So you know I take Japanese classes, obviously. Do you know how to say any words in Japanese? Oh, no. I, I keep thinking, oh, I'm putting an A where it's supposed to be an E. And uh, mm. Do you know how to say hello? <laughs> no, I for I'm forgetting all that. <laughs> I'm not confident at all in even trying. Um, Even though we have a famous French comedy film that makes fun of how you say hello. <laughs> yes. Konnichiwa! <laughs> Something ending with wa, but oh, I can't good. remember. <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when when you if you would say thank you, I would I would um, know it's thank you. For mm. instance, no, if you say mother, I would know it's mother, but I'm not able to to mm. repeat it mm. or welcome home. Or Ah, oh, you remember those from films that we watched? Or? Yes, or when you were talking, saying a few words of Japanese. <laughs> and I was really into anime and I was saying words <laughs> like a weeb <laughs> that, I, <laughs> that I used to be. I'm less of a weeb now. We already spoke about a few things you're allowed to do and not allowed to do in Japan when we were talking about you maybe coming with me at one time. Um, do you remember any of these social rules? Uh, etiquette that we have in Japan, we have that they have in Japan. Uh, yes, I don't know if that's something you, you're gonna keep on the video, but the tattoo. Mm -hmm. You cannot go to public baths or, or all public baths, you have to check first mm -hmm. if uh, if it's allowed. Yeah, and so you know it's related to the to the Yakuza, that's yes. why it's prohibited in most, less now, but still a lot of uh, bath places. Um, what else do you know about social uh, etiquette? Shoes, take yeah. your shoes off before you're entering someone's place, someone's home. Someone's home. Do you know if you have to take off your shoes when you go into a store, a shop? No, you don't have to take what your shoes off. What about a train? Off. No, not what on a train. What about a changing room? I suppose so. It would make sense. Uh, some changing rooms you have to remove your shoes. Good. Uh, maybe another place? Um, I suppose at when you maybe when you're entering a doctor's actually, office. I don't know that. I, I wouldn't know. I'll have to check. I'll write it there if I can find it. Um, and how about offices? I don't think you have to remove your shoes for offices. Schools? You have to. You have uh, special indoor shoes for schools. Interesting. I don't remember. Huh. I have to think about that. Any other social etiquette? I remember you were nervous about one that I mentioned to you um, when we were coming back from the airport the last time I came back. Uh, I'm not nervous about it, but uh, well, if it's we're talking about the same one, but I know about mobile phone, not to talk about on, on the phone in public places. Yeah, in, in trains more specifically, in okay. public transportation, it's not polite to speak loud. Usually no one really talks. Even if uh, you're with a friend, you usually don't talk in a train or very, very mm -hmm. low, not to disturb people. Very contrary to uh, here, where people blast their music, talk loud, or a bit rowdy sometimes. So that's what I like about trains in Japan, it's very quiet. 
it's also so crowded inside trains that I can't imagine have, having someone speak on their phone when they're like <laughs> stuck to you like this so, so I, I see the reasoning behind it okay so that's what the three I had in mind I okay. don't think uh, there are a lot more but those are the three main ones that uh, people usually discuss and usually know and you knew them already in advance the shoes, the tattoos yeah. how about eating in the, in, in the street? while um, walking or they, smoking yeah both of those well smoking is um, I think it's actually prohibited that you can't uh, walk and smoke because you can injure someone I think a child got injured or something with mm. got cigarette maybe in his eye or something and since then they have little smoking areas almost everywhere like every couple of streets so you can't uh, walk and smoke uh, you can walk and eat, but they'd rather not, mm. actually. They'd rather you eat outside the konbini or the convenience store, or if they have a space you can eat inside the convenience store. But since everyone is moving, especially in Tokyo, like moving, mm -hmm. busy, going somewhere, heading somewhere, they'd rather you didn't disturb other people. And Japan is very much oriented that way. Don't disturb others, be aware of people around you. It's very, a very... Um, society-centered uh, type of community, mm. community-centered, society-centered. Everyone works together. And I have a question for you. Yeah, okay. Do you feel in your space, more in your space, when you're wearing those masks? Um, as a foreigner, yes, because um, you do stick out a lot. There were some days where I just didn't want anybody to stare at me. I just wanted to be invisible and in my bubble and just just not be seen and the mask definitely helped that uh, for some reason. I don't know if it's a kind of a placebo-ish effect but it felt like I was more in my own bubble. I felt mm. Has it got to do with the mask effect you think? As if you were wearing... Maybe but I mean it's just my nose and mouth but I definitely felt more in my bubble that's for sure. Mm. Would you be able to bear it more easily to be in a packed tube with a mask on. Yeah. Mm. That's what I was mm. I was wondering. So that's all for now for the QA. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you for getting me out of a uh, situation where I had no video for this week. <laughs> <laughs> so technically the one I'm working on now I either want to reshoot it or rethink it. You guys will see whatever comes next but thank you for being patient i hope you enjoyed this little q a with my mom and seeing her opinion as a mom of a solo traveling person <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah you can uh, follow me on social media for updates on the japaniku project it's coming up i'm very excited very nervous i try and give you updates on twitter and instagram and if you want to help out with the projects all the links are down below on how you can do that. So I will see you all very soon. I'll work. You all. Bye. And a very special thank you to my dear patrons who made this video and other projects of mine possible. Kenji Swift, Richard Fujinami, and Devil Khan. Thank you guys so much.